In recent news, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have been spotted retreating at a mansion-sized love nest in Miami. The former couple, who called off their engagement back in 2004, seem to be revisiting their romance and enjoying a getaway in the Sunshine State together while they're at it, only weeks after they were spotted getting cozy in Montana. We'll take a look at the lavish mansion Florida Benifer is renting out right now, and it's a two-story fortress by the beach. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Before there was Mark Anthony and Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Garner and Ana de Armas, there was Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Benifer was definitely one of the it Hollywood couples of the early 2000s, and while they called off their engagement and went their separate ways in 2004, fans might have a reason to get excited about a reunion. Ben and JLo took a recent getaway to Montana only a couple of weeks ago, indicating one of Hollywood's fave romances might just be starting up again. And when we thought that was it, the pair is now shacking up together in a luxury Miami mansion for Benefer vacation number two. JLo's currently working on a project in the Sunshine State and it seems that she's taking some time for relaxation with her ex. Speculation they were reuniting began when Ben visited JLo at her LA home in April 2021 and it was clear the two were hanging out. Ben and Jennifer started spending more time together after JLo and her ex fiance Alex Rodriguez confirmed their split on April 15th. Either way, fans are nostalgic hearing about Benifer 2.0 and we can only hope the two are happy. A source even said Jen's mother Guadalupe is hoping her daughter and Ben tie the knot soon since she's always loved Ben. Whatever the case may be, JLo and Ben are currently living lavish in a 10,000 square foot Miami palace and the stars have been spotted lounging together on the balconies and soaking up the views. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed a bunch of you guys watching our videos aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and help us get to 1 million subscribers. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a quick look at the gorgeous mansion that Benifer aka Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are shacking up together, or their love nest in Miami as some may call it. You can even go rent the place after the pair is done with it if you have enough dough. We've also featured house tours on both Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck in the past on this channel if you want to know more about their real estate which we'll link to at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. So let's take a look at this epic vacation home. Ben and JLo have more than enough room to lounge around in Miami Beach cause their rented mansion is equal to a 21st century modern palace. Located on Hibiscus Island, a neighborhood in the city of Miami Beach on a man-made island in Biscayne Bay, of course the home is waterfront. It's an exclusive residential neighborhood so you need some serious money to live here, that's for sure. Benefer's vacation retreat is a two-level contemporary mansion laid out over 10,000 square feet of space on an expansive 27,000 square foot lot. Inside, there are 11 bedrooms, 12 baths, and the residence is also designer furnished with sleek and luxury details. There's an open plan layout with a lot of fresh white interiors, really making the most of that Miami vibe. There's no word on how long Jennifer and Ben plan on sticking around, but the home was bought for a fortune recently by jewelry designer Paul Morelli. He paid about $18 million for the mega mansion, and it's now being rented out for about 130 k per month according to online records. So we can assume that's how much JLo and Ben are paying. Almost every sprawling common room in the mansion has open water views, and once you actually go outside, the property itself has 100 feet of prime waterfront, as the listing describes. There's a large living room with glass doors out to the patio, as well as a cozier family room with flat screen TV. The kitchen has ashy wood cabinets and stainless appliances for Ben and Jen to enjoy some romantic dinners in if they'd like, or if they have guests, there's a large sunny dining area with walls of windows. The main entryway has a ton of open space and a chic glass staircase leading to the upper level. Of course, we've already seen JLo caught by paparazzi enjoying that balcony and the Miami breeze. 
makes sense. The master suite has a sitting area, huge closet, and an ensuite as well as that large balcony we saw her on. The amenities at JLo and Ben's rental mansion are endless. Elsewhere, there's a private gym, an office, and of course, a gorgeous pool, jacuzzi, and spa outside. The property also has a separate guest house that's the size of a family home in itself, so if JLo and Ben get in an argument or she gets sick of his smoking, one of them can always hit up the extra house for bedtime. But I doubt that will happen at the Love Nest. Also outside, the Miami mansion has a great outdoor terrace surrounding the pool and amenities, and there's a private dock and boat lift. Not to mention, the whole place has lush landscaping for privacy. Too bad we already got some snapshots of Ben and Jen here. This rental mansion is far from the only Miami pad JLo has called home. Let's not forget, back when she and Ben originally started their romance in the early 2000s, her home was this gorgeous Miami estate. After the continued success of her first album, JLo went on to purchase a luxury home in 2002, this beachfront mansion in Miami for an undisclosed amount. But it looks like it costs at least a couple million. Million. This Spanish style home was situated on just over 1.2 acres of land, peppered with manicured gardens and palm trees. As well as its large formal rooms, balconies and terraces, the home had 7 beds and 13 bathrooms. It also had a lift and a spiral staircase with wrought iron banister. This relaxed living space had comfortable sofas, a stone floor and much more in line with JLo's effortless style and preferred neutral palette. Similar to the minimalistic rental home. This house wasn't short of extra amenities either, and it boasted a theater, a wine cellar, and a water purifier for the whole place. I would love that feature. The grand formal dining room looked out over the grounds through arched windows and had a medieval style chandelier hanging over the table, which I also absolutely love. This spacious kitchen here was decorated in neutral colors much like the rest of the house and had a large kitchen island and exposed beams. Heading outside, there was a 60 foot long swimming pool and spa, a coral stone deck, a cabana, and an outdoor kitchen too. It also featured a dock that had room for several large boats, as well as 200 feet of clear waterfront on Biscayne Bay. Upstairs, the master bedroom JLo used to occupy measured in at 1,000 square feet alone. Comprising three bedrooms knocked into one, the suite had a terrace, a gym, office, and an ensuite bathroom. JLo only owned this house for three years, selling up in 2005 for $40 million, but it's shocking she never kept the gorgeous home. Nevertheless, it's thought that the property held a special place in her heart. It was where she retreated after her incredibly public breakup with Ben back in the day, when they were once engaged. Let's hope the new Miami rental is a fresh start. So now that we've taken a look at Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's current Miami love nest, what did you guys think? Do you think Benifer is officially back together and here to stay this time? Or is it just some sort of twisted rebound? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments, or more importantly, your thoughts on the mansion they're living at right now. I personally think the Florida home they're shacking up at is beautiful, especially the outdoor space. Seems like quite the treat, but we also know JLo is used to living in beautiful Miami mansions to say the least. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!